Hello, everybody. This is the Friendly Bear Podcast, where we interview some of the best and brightest traders in the trading community. Listen to inspiring stories and nuggets of insight from current and future game changers in the trading space. Listen and learn as we explore all types of trading niches with some of the best in the industry from a Friendly Bear point of view. Make sure to check out the Friendly Bear Podcast new YouTube channel called Friendly Bear Research which includes all the podcast video content and supplemental screen shares. If you enjoy the podcast, please consider leaving a five-star review on iTunes. With that being said, I'm your host, David, a.k.a. Reverse Long, and this is the Friendly Bear Podcast. Let's dive in. Hey, guys. All right, so today is uh, Saturday, August 17, 2024. So I'm doing this um, audio recap here, so just to make a couple announcements, too, so the the analysts and the senior analysts of the trade floor, they're going to be, uh, as you can see, some of them have already been doing audio reviews. They're, these are excellent. I want to make a shout out to Laza and, and Mateo. Man, they're crushing it. So it's like it's great to hear them uh, put their thoughts out on how they're trading because I'm like, wow, man, these guys really, they really got it. So like by observing the way I trade and 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 the rules and watching on podcasts and everything, it's working. So trading is counterintuitive and trading we don't learn this stuff in school we're not on wall street we got to figure it out on our own and these guys are figuring it out the way i figured it out like you know it's like we, it's, it's just you you're, you're shown the ropes and it becomes like self-taught you got to pick things up every day you got to pick things. why is that person successful you got to pick up like little details of what they're doing and that those little details are from everything i'm doing it's not just trading here is, is, is uh it's like everything like my whole life is, is trading so it's like if you look into as much as you can of like what i'm doing you're able to pick it up these little tiny things and you put it together and it's like it's like a formula for getting profitable and the way these guys are doing it, it it's clicking so like i love it man so when i hear them talk about it i'm like whoa this is a like this is this is exactly like what, like well, you know what they should be doing and like the way they're talking about it their attitudes everything wow so good so good like i i love hearing it you can see i put the fire emojis um so i encourage especially the analysts and the senior analysts to, to put their thoughts out on their trades just uh three to five minutes man i think that's all you need if, you, if you're laser focused with it, I used to do long ones because uh, I like talking about my day and stuff and that served me. But now like different periods of your life, you just change, you know, like what you did six months ago, you kind of upgraded, you know, so every six months or so, like you, you, you adapt, you know. So, for example, right now I'm switching my trade idea scanners to 40 percent up. Uh, I'm adapting, you know, so this market's a lot of squeezes. T plus one, there's a lot of T plus one squeezes. So, um I am putting uh, 40% up. It was 20%. I'm doing 40% now. Like, so less probability for me to get squeezed, even if I miss one or two. Uh, because the thing is with my scanners, I'm very quick to react because I, like my process is so refined. I can just bam, bam, bam. So like, that's what I've been doing. So like when I switch it to 40%, I, it's a little lag time which is necessary. So let these things squeeze a little bit more and then I'll enter, you know? So um, by me seeing it a little bit late, it's like a, like a baseball player getting a change up instead of the fastball. So I'm just, I'm just timing it a little bit better. So just by a few minutes, maybe 30 seconds or so, because like these are usually the same stocks I would trade when I get, when I notice them, when they get on my radar at 20%. So I notice they get on my radar and then I start to go through my process to see what the hell is going on with it. Now that process, I get it. It's 40% up. Now it's a little lag time from 20 to 40. So, and sometimes they don't even get to 40. So like I'll, I'm going to be missing out on some trades, but whatever, who cares? Uh, this market T plus one, um, there's just squeezing too much. And uh, yeah, and, and which is good. It's actually really, really good for short sellers this this extra volatility is very good except there's going to be a lot of short sellers that get crushed and um you know and that's the, that's the market man the market is ruthless the market doesn't care about you so um don't be one of those guys you know so anyway uh another another yeah another shout out to mateo too man so like 
Mateo has seen like my at one point, I don't know if he's there anymore, but like my Instagram subscription, seeing my dates. I, I upload on Instagram subscription like things that I don't upload for the for the the regular stories, for example. Because like people don't know, but like my Instagram feed is all like inspiration and all like hedge fund people, market wizards. I follow all these cool pages and, that feed me information and just enlightens my mind, you know? So I don't post those publicly because like it's boring, you know? I post general stuff publicly, but, and I do like stories of my food and stuff, but you don't see behind the scenes like what, like I'm not even studying anymore. I'm just, this is just my life. It just feeds it to me. So now I get to share that with the subscribers. And I think people realize, oh, that's what he's doing. And I post like uh, like the books I'm reading and the chapters of the pages and, and the book I'm writing. I'm writing a book. And so like I post that all up and people are like, oh, OK. And like because like if you see social media, especially X, because I don't I don't like posting on X anymore because like last year it was a big distraction for me. And I decided to I, I talked with Sam about it and we're like, OK, well, let's eradicate X. This is no more X. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to post my food pictures there, my food videos. And that's it. Boom. You know, so like I didn't fully disappear from X, but like I post that. And and some people think that's that's like, I don't know what they think. They, they think that's all I'm doing, eating food or something. But like there's a lot that goes on. Beside, and that's the stuff I share like in the social media for like Instagram, the public, like the story. But like there is a lot going on out, outside of that in my daily routines you know, I just ordered this new book to study the history of uh, the Japanese candlesticks for the rice, uh, the rice markets. Uh, and, you know, it's just like every, everything, everything. So I get to share this stuff like, with the subscribers. And also, like, for example, on the audio podcast, I share like uh, stuff, my thoughts throughout the day um, because it's easy for me to put on. So my headset talk and then the trade review videos. I do the trade review videos on the YouTube channel. I do the stock analysis videos in the YouTube channel. So it's like, you got to kind of like figure it out. You know, I'm like, I don't have like a bundle all in one package. I guess Constance Trading Academy kind of does, but like, it's, it's like, you got to figure it out the same way I figured it out. I had to do that. I had to, when someone mentioned the book, I bought a book. When someone mentioned, um, a YouTube video, I saw a YouTube video. When someone mentioned, you know, like, it's just like, you got to be an autodidact. You know, it's a self-learning. No one person gives you the answers. You know what I mean? You got to put in the work and get the answers out, you know? So, like, I did not have one specific mentor. I didn't, I want to repeat that. I did not have one specific mentor. I've had many mentors inside of trading, outside of trading, and no one mentor was uh, the purpose or, you know, the reason for my success. That was all on me. You know, I know some mentors, they, they want to take credit for that. But that was all on me. I'm the one that grinded 20 hours a day on the, on the, on the floor over there, going to Skid Row, coming back, showering at Skid Row, coming back for the pre-market 1 a.m., you know, grinding. You know, I'm the one that, uh, that studied so much like looking at every single podcast every single podcast out there i could get my hands on on trading and i i got i, I looked at everybody you know so just getting the information just try whether i like the person or not just getting the information so i can get it and have a chance to just make my life the way it needs to be you know the way it, need, it should be you know so um i think i got there now you know so like you got to get that information. So like, um, that's, that's what the friendly bear YouTube channel is. That's what the subscription for that is. That's what the audio subscription for the friendly bear audio, uh, which is, you know, it's not even that hard to find. And then like the Instagram subscription, uh, I'm going to have a book out in six months to a year. That one's going to be good. I'm, I'm on chapter four right now, but anyway, let's get into, um, I'm going to finish this off with the, the trade review on um, CING. Actually for CING, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this. I'm going to make this an audio podcast uh, and then I'm going to make a CNG audio, CING audio specifically for the Discord uh, epicenter. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make this. The, the trade reviews, um, Discord and YouTube. 
uh, you know, for the bear subscribers and polar bear. Like, yeah, so that's where it's at. Uh, but yeah, this specific audio is going to go for the audio channel. So I'll see you guys later. That concludes today's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel on the platform you use. The Friendly Bear Podcast is hosted by me, David, where you can find me on Twitter at reverse underscore long. You can find the Friendly Bear Podcast at www.thefriendlybearpodcast.com, as well as on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Audible, Amazon Music, and now on YouTube at Friendly Bear Research. Until next time, thank you for listening to the Friendly Bear Podcast.